Welcome to Excel name trick number five. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel name series one to 12. Hey, trick number five, we're going to see how to name a range and use that name with the COUNTIF function, the VLOOKUP function, data validation, and a pivot table. Because all of those features are going to look at a chunk of data. It can be very convenient to name the chunk of data first. Hey, I'm going to highlight this, uh, these car types, not the field name, just the car types. And I'm going to come up here to the name box and type CT, enter. And there I have my name, CT. Now I want to see how to use that name with the count if function. I'm going to click up here for car type and type four. I want to count how many Fords are in this list. Equals count if, and it needs a range and a criteria. Well, our range is going to be CT. You can type CT, backspace, backspace, or you can hit the F3 key and double click your uh, CT comma, and then I'm going to click in this cell right there, and that's the formula. Count if the range, and what is the criteria? It's Ford Control Enter. So there's one Ford, and I can quickly look through this little list and see that that is the case. If I change this to Honda, I get five. Now, let's uh, go ahead and see how to use data validation and then the VLOOKUP using the name. I'm going to highlight this range right here. These are the customers. I'm going to use uh, create data validation in this cell with a drop down. But I'll name this range first. I'm going to click over here and type C U S T, enter, cust. Now I'm going to come here and do data validation. Data validation in 2007 is data a ribbon. Data validation in 2003, it's data menu data validation. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt DL. Now I'm going to hit Tab to get to the Allow text box, and then I'm going to hit L because I know that the list feature of data validation is what I want. Then I'm going to hit Tab. Now I forgot my name, so I'm going to hit the F3 key. I'm going to, um, to get down to my cust, I'm going to tap the letter C, and then arrow, arrow, and then enter, and then enter. That was with all keyboard shortcuts. Now I have a drop down here. I can pick any one of these uh, customers and select, um, then we'll do a VLOOKUP and find their birthday. Now I made little small lists here, obviously. When the, you have gigantic lists, then that's when these tricks really are advantageous. Now, we need to name the whole table here for our V lookup. So I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to type CB for customer and birthday. And then I'm going to click here and do my V lookup equals V lookup. Now, the lookup value is going to be this person right here, comma, and the table array is going to be our name, table array. See how it's bold? And that's going to be, uh oh, I forgot what it is. So I'll hit F3, and then I got to, oh yeah, it's CB, so I can double click it. Comma, this is um, in the second column is the value I want to return, so I'm going to type a 2, and then comma, and this is. Um, not approximate, but false, because I have words here. Zero, close parentheses, control, enter. And there it is. Uh-oh. But that's not right. 23,976. Oh, yeah. Dates are serial numbers. The number of days since December 31st, 1899. So I'm going to control 1, and then apply a date format. Click OK. So now I can come up here, and anytime I want to select a uh, uh, customer, I can find their birthday and then make sure that I send a card out then. Now the last thing I want to do is a pivot table. And for a pivot table, I'm going to use this um, data here. Just a single column. I'm going to count how many. I will actually see something interesting about the pivot table, but you need to include the field name. So I'm going to click up here and type CTF for car type with the field name, enter. Remember to hit enter. You click up in the name box and enter. Now let's do a, a pivot table. I'm going to click anywhere in a blank cell and then insert pivot table, pivot table. And it's like, what? Where is the range? It doesn't know. So I'm going to hit F3. And then there it is, CTF, car type field name. And I'm going to say uh, in this existing worksheet, and the cell F12 is just fine. So then I'm going to click OK. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's totally annoying. But all I want to do here is 
um, drop the car type down to the row labels. Now watch what happens. This is an amazing feature. This is a quick way to get a unique list of items. And then I'm going to drag it to the values. Notice when you uh, drag a bunch of were a field with words in it in a pivot table, the default function will be count. Will be count. And then I'm going to close my field list. That is a quick way to get a frequency table. How many Chevys occurred? Three. How many Fords? Three. How many Hondas? Two. How many Toyotas? Five. Now, I actually have randomizing function here that's randomly choosing words, so I could hit my F9 key. Now, why doesn't the pivot table update here? Huh? This is updating. There's 500s, but it still says two here. With pivot tables, you have to right click refresh. And now you can see that the Honda is 2. Oh, wait a second. Is that right? Honda 2, Honda 5. Hey, look, that's always one step behind. Um, actually, if I um, grab these values, here's a weird trick. If I wanted to convert these, because if you look up here, there's a randomizing formula up there. Here's a weird way to paste special. If you point to the edge and you see your move cursor, if you right click and drag over and then quickly drag back. You can see that gray box. You don't want to drag it there. You want to actually drag it back. <gasps> a context sensitive menu will pop up with a bunch of uh, options. Paste here as values. Boop. Now that formula is gone. You can see the formula is no longer there. And now this is Honda 2. There's two. So when I right click, refresh, a uh, Honda 2, Chevy 2, Ford 3, and Toyota 6. Hey, I'm going to double click this right here. So that's a little bit how to use the name, a named range in account if, a VLOOKUP function, data validation, and pivot table. All right, see you next name trick.